Good evening, this is Deborah V. Wilson. It is Thursday, it is the 23rd of January, 2020. The time is 1900 hours and six minutes, and that time zone is BST. I'm in Bradford, and that's what this is about. I'm in Bradford. So, I've been getting stalked for about 12 years, and that's right, 1, 2, 10 plus 2, 12 years. You can look on my Twitter account, I'll, I'll include the link to my Twitter account if you're so interested. Well, one of the things they uh, ta ta stalk me with is this tawdry story about me and a Ghanaian man in Italy. And um, it's, I, I, I'm not going to dignify it. But anyway, today I was out walking and the people who stalked me, the entity, it's a entity, a government entity, who have stalked me. I've had problems in um, my home country, my country of birth, which is the U.S., um, and in my travels. It's because this particular entity wants me to work for them as an informant. I am a Muslim by definition. I, I, and, but anyway, so here we go. So I was walking on my way to Bradford Cathedral because I like to get my prayer on there. It's a wonderful place. And this man stops me. And I could pick up right away that he had an African, West African accent. So we'll get there. So he starts talking to me and he asks me, where am I from? And I said, uh, so I'm going to where it's a quote I'm going to quote. And I'll be as descriptive as possible. So he's, he asked me, where was I from? I said, originally from the, the state, Chicago, but now I live here. So he asked me what brought me here. And I said, to do research in national security. How long have you been doing that? So I said, oh, I've been looking at national security in this country, the UK, for about 20 years. And so he starts looking at me and, and he said, I said, where are you from? And he said, Ghana. But he had to look up in the sky. He looked up. We were standing outside and he said, uh, 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 me, I'm from Ghana. But originally uh, he said, I'm not uh, straight. And he's going on and on explaining Ghana, right? And um, so he never said where in Ghana he was from, but and like I said, he had to look up in the sky, you know, like you're trying to remember something. That's what he did. So I said, where are you originally from? He said, um, the Netherlands. And I said, oh, I know the Netherlands. And I, I, I said, by the way, what is your name? He said, George. And I said, oh, and I said, one of my best friends is from the Netherlands. And, and I said, and Coincidentally, and that's true, it is true. Oh, by the way, the Ghana thing was quote unquote. And so then I said, one of my best friends is uh, from the Netherlands. And I said, wow, his name is also George. And so he goes, he said, he said, oh, is that right? And he tries to explain Amsterdam to me. And then I, I said, no, I know Amsterdam. So then he changes the subject and wants to know what I'm doing here in Nash, doing in this country researching national security and he wanted to know why here in this country you know george the ghanaian from amsterdam and i said well i've had an experience working with the government and i quite enjoyed it and and i'm looking to go to school get my postgraduate degree i was going on and on and on he wanted to know specifically how many years i had done this so then i said why and he wanted to know why i didn't do that why i didn't do the work someplace else. I said, like, where? And I said, well, I can't do it in the U.S. He said, you can't? I said, no, because I said the FBI wanted me to do work for them. And I said, it wasn't the kind of work I wanted to do. And it certainly wasn't the kind of work my parents would have wanted me to do. May they rest in peace. And then he said, you know, George, the Ghanaian that I never met before, he said, yeah, I know you've had a really hard time. I know. Yeah. So what I said to George was the Ghanaian from the Netherlands. I said, oh, you know, I've had a really hard time. Oh, uh, uh, well, well, you said you couldn't. So 
up, the eyes go up in the sky again, and he starts looking around, looking around. He asked me about my religious belief again. He tried to pray for me again, but is really curious about what I was doing with the British government. So I got, I thought that was just odd, an odd series of questions. I really thought George the Ghanaian from, from the Netherlands was just a little, the questions were really, really odd. So I said, well, as a matter of fact, and this was completely untrue, I said, I need to go, George, because I said, I have to meet someone from the UK government. I literally said that. So his eyes get really big. You do? And I said, yes, they're waiting for me to talk about something. His eyes are really big. And he said, well, and then we go back to the questions again about what exactly am I doing here? How long am I he been here? And if I'm playing, planting, planning on staying here, George the Ghanaian from the Netherlands had a lot of questions about what I was doing. And so I ended up just saying, well, George, <laughs> so the agency, the government agency is not British, that I think, um, is responsible for this harassment and it's just this pattern is quite similar I said well George I've got to go and I said by the way say hello and I named the agency and his eyes got gigantic but that's not the best part of the story so I'm cut through the Broadway for those of you that don't know that's a big shopping center mall here in Bradford and I went to the ladies restroom so I walked in there and there was a woman in there a Bradford woman and you're about to find out why so I'm telling her about this guy that I said I probably felt like he accosted me with all these questions and then he was supposed to be religious and he's talking about God and questions about what I'm doing here da, 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 da. and she said oh no my love I won't imitate uh, her accent is lovely, a wonderful Bradford woman. And she said, well, what can I do for you? So I told her all about, you know, the religious Ghanaian named George from the Netherlands now here is asking me all these questions about what I'm doing with the British government. And I said, oh, I don't know. Pray for me. I have a loud cackle of a laugh. That woman's laugh was louder than mine. We both like screamed and howled. It is why this city has like the most, the best energy in the world. In the world, it's like the best energy. It's just, and I love London. And I think London is a fabulous city. But you can see Bradford. It was just so funny because I'm talking to her and she was like, oh, she was crinkling up her nose. I was telling her about the weird question. She's like, oh, that's all. She was like, you don't know him? No, no. He said, how long am I going to stay here? What was I doing with the British government? And then I said, it was all over. It was all laced with it with a prism of this. Well, I thought full religious uh, okay, I was about to say, well, BS, you know, and so and, and when I said, when she asked, what, oh, what can I do for you, my love, and I said, I don't know, pray for me. Ah, oh, it's another wonderful Bradford story. Uh, this isn't exactly the way I thought my life would look at 62 years of age, but one of the things that is absolutely fabulous is that I'm back in a country in which I can do a podcast wondering and suggesting what the Director General of MI5 should do with his future. I think that's pretty awesome. This is Deborah B. Wilson, and do literally and metaphorically say a prayer for me. Thank you.